Morning Stingers! Today is March 1st, ladies and gentlemen. That's a Monday. That's a school day. That's why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, coming up on the anniversary of the one-year mark of quarantine, kind of a big moment. It's been a crazy year, but we're moving on. We've got lessons to do. We're moving on to Chapter 7. Uh, if you didn't take the Chapter 6 quiz test on Friday, it's a zero, so go take it. Uh, breaking news. Um, so we're moving on to chapter 7. Chapter 7 is all about 3D objects, three-dimensional objects. This is an intro lesson, so it's the first lesson of the section. It's all about just introducing you to the shapes, okay? You have a basic understanding of shapes. Actually, you have a good understanding of shapes. Now, what happens when you turn them into 3D shapes? You can probably understand what they look like, but you don't understand what they're called. So let's go over the names. First off, you have a prism. You may have heard that in science class. Good, good, good. Keep you guys up a little bit. Hey, how's it going there, guy? Okay, prisms, which you've probably heard about in science class, which is awesome, good. Kind of the same thing. Um, pyramids, which I know you've heard about in social studies class. So we're applying a little bit of science, a little bit of social studies. Cylinders, which you, I don't know if you've heard this one before, but you definitely know what it is. And then cones, and yes, I, you probably know what a cone is, okay? You've probably seen cones on, in the summertime, okay? We have an ice cream store right across the corner, okay? So let's go over what these shapes are. Prism. Now, if you've heard it in science, prism is kind of that thing that bends light. It's not incorrect, but a prism mathematically is a, is a 3D shape with a face and and end that match. Now what do I mean, what do I mean, what do I mean? Relax, I'll get there. Okay, let's just use our basic rectangle, 3D shape, okay? Now, what do I mean? Now I have a 3D shape with a face. This is the face, the face of a rectangle, okay? and the end that match. So if you want to think of it back here, back here, there's an end to this 3D shape. It matches. So this face and that end match. That's what makes it a three-dimensional shape. That's what makes it a prism because the front side and the back side match. That's what makes it. You can do this. This is a rectangular, rectangular prism. Because the face shape is a rectangle. Whatever the face shape is determines what kind of. Um, it's kind of bright this up here. A little bit too much. Yeah, right there. Let's see. A little bit too much. A little bit too much. Okay, so whatever the face shape is determines what it's called. We can change that up. Let's do another face. Let's do a different face. Uh, we have the face of a triangle. And then we'll run it off three dimensional. And then since it's a prism, it will have a triangle here in the back. So it makes it a triangular prism. Triangular prism. Let's do one more. Let's see if I can confuse you. Let's see if I can trick you. That's a square. The face is a square. What is a three-dimensional square called? Is it a squareable, squareangular prism? No, it's simply called cube. Okay, you've always known that one probably. Three-dimensional square, cube. Let's move on to pyramid. Classic pyramid you probably all know. Boom, boom, comes to a point here. Okay, pyramids in Egypt, they are. That's pretty much a pyramid in Egypt. But let's go over what it actually is. What kind of pyramid it is. What's the base, okay? Their pyramids are based on the base. So a pyramid, I shouldn't have done this. I should have done this first. Is a 3D shape that meets, that comes to a point. And just like over here, that pyramid in Egypt I just drew. The 
the base, you may not be able to see, but the base is a, it's a, yeah, we call it a rectangular prism, or we call it a cubule prism. Um, it's called a cubule prism. Cubule prism. I can also draw a rectangular prism. Um, so I'm making this one spot longer than the other. And then these still all come to a point. And then you can see here, my base is a rectangle. This is a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. You may not have thought about it, but you could have a triangular prism. It's kind of hard to think three-dimensionally, but draw a triangle, bring all the points up. Yeah, triangular prism. Triangular, triangle, triangle. Triangular pyramid. And I apologize, that's pyramid. This is a rectangular pyramid. This is a cubule pyramid. Okay, pyramid. Now, these all have to do with 3D shapes we understand. Rectangle, square, triangle. You could also do an octagon. You could do a hexagon. You could do an octagon. Okay, technically an octagon. It's technically an octagon in an MMA. If you were to put a lid on it, it would be an octagonal prism. Now, cylinder. Cylinder and cone, they all have to do with one shape, and one shape only. You probably have seen it, you probably have heard of it. It is a 3D shape, it is a 3D prism with circles. Let's just call it that way. Okay? A cylinder is a prism, but its base and its face are circles. Okay? You've seen this before. I know you've seen this before. In fact, give me one sec, I'll go get one. Okay, cover up the advertisement. Okay, cylinder. Okay, all your cans, cylinders. You can use those cylinders. So I don't, even need to, I don't even need to call this a round prism. It's just called a cylinder. Okay, they can go both ways. You can lean them, go this way, like a rolling pin. Um, they could also base little short things like a can. Okay, so can or like a rolling pin or a can. So can cone. Now a cone is the same thing as a pyramid, but with a circle. Okay, so it is a 3D pyramid with the base of a circle. So let's do this. Okay, you guys know cones. You guys know cones. Okay, you want to know you know cones? Let's do this. Cone. Put some ice cream in it. Okay, put ice cream here, put ice cream here, put ice cream there. Cone. I know you guys know cones, okay? So, all right, I'm out. I got to slice, dice, and get moving.